Hey guys, Bing here. Today, um, today I'm going to show you how to quickly model this structure. Okay, so first, uh, before I start, let's have a look at this image. So, so we need to find the, the pattern. So here, so if if you look at here, so the pattern is, uh, it will be this one. So once we have this shape, and then this is the mirror, and then repeat, repeat. Okay, so let's go back to Revit and uh, curtain panel pattern base. Okay. Uh, select this uh, tile pattern grid, and then I think the one we're going to use is this tri triangle flat. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to build this shape and go this way okay first let me um, reference point set set a work plan on this work plan and place it here and then move this point here and another one set a work plan place the point and then move it up a little bit so now if I select this these four points and spline so you will see you have this spline so similar to this this shape but we don't want this spline to go over this um, the center, so we might need to move this point closer, just closer to this point. So maybe I'll type in 100. Okay, so same here, I'll maybe type in um, minus 100. So now it's pretty close. Um, now the next step is. Uh, the profiles so point draw on face and then set work plan on this work plan I'll draw a um, rectangle so with this line um, I'll have a look so maybe 100 and then uh, maybe 500 so and also um, uh, because when the profile go this here, I want to the profile sit on the right side of this point. So I'll move this profile uh, to so centered and then on the right side. Okay, so this this one um, finish, and then we need another one at this end. So what I'll do is just copy this. And then select this point, pick a new host, and pick this uh, spline. So this time, I want this profile sit on the left side of this uh, path. So I'll just select this. You can move the profile, or you can just select this. Type in 180. So it's rotate. So together with the uh, profile okay so now select this profile to profile in the path create form and then select this point point uh, I'll type in one and this one type in zero so now we have one uh, solid a sweep okay so then we need another one so first we need to create a spline so point set work plan set and pick this work plan and uh, place at the points and then click select the points I'll type in minus 100 and then, okay so now select this point one two and I'll use these two points uh, one frame three four and spline and then reference line so I'll I'll then select select this point 
see if I can select this point. Uh, now, to the heart of because that's one, two, three, three points there. So I'll temporarily hide this one, and that's two. If I pick this and uh, see which which side is it on, oh, so so this is the correct point. So this one together with this profile, copy here and another one here, and then uh, place a uh, pick new holes here. This one same. Pick new holes here. <coughs> so. This on this one, this profile is correct. On this one, I'll just change that to zero. So go, go left side of this. Okay, so select this profile to profile path and then create, create form. So then select this point, change that to uh, zero or one. one? Yep. So this one will be zero. And it's okay. Now hidden line, all good. So this is finished. And then go. We need to create a. So here I'm going to create a, a conceptual mass. So you can do it like in in a project as a model in a uh, place mass. Uh, it will be the same. So I'll go to floor level floor plan. And uh, I'm going to draw, or maybe just go to the elevation, draw a reference line, and then draw a half circle. I'm going to draw a half circle here, okay? And then go to floor plan, copy this. So if you can't go that way, uh, type shift. Okay, so now we have to half circle create form. So that's the tunnel. Let me see. Let me just move this a little bit. Oops. Um, maybe I go. I need to go to floor plan. Go up. No. It won't let me go up. Reference plan. And. Uh, Pick reference plan. Okay. So now select this base device surface and then change that to tri triangle flat. We might need to turn that 90 degree. So it's quite big for now, but uh, I'm just going to use this because uh, because it will take less time for for Rally to calculate. So. Uh, did I load this? And then we can just try that. One. So yeah, it's that's a warning here. Mm, I think I'll just ignore it. Looks okay for so yeah. So this is it. So um. Let's try to change the uh, pattern to make it a little bit more 30, 20, something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can have. You can actually when you build this uh, family, you can build in the some parameter to control the depths of these uh, profiles. So you can adjust them. But I think that's pretty good. Um, and you can also create a organic shape tunnel, a mess, and then apply this a uh, curtain panel pattern based family. So. This will be the result, and yeah, that's it. that's it for today. And uh, I'll see you next next time. Okay.